Hey guys, Tales of Creed here, and welcome to my new Let's Play, Full Metal Alchemist 2, Curse of the Crimson Elixir. Uh, just a little warning before we start, I'm a little tired, so might be a bit monotone throughout this recording. So, uh, yeah. Well, let's go ahead and go into a new game. I'll just let this cutscene take okay. it away. It is the method of deconstructing and recreating matter by understanding its inherent laws and its place in nature. The power to freely transform matter may appear as a miracle to those unfamiliar with the practice. But even the seemingly almighty power of alchemy must abide by one absolute law. That law is equivalent exchange. In order to gain something, an equivalent price must be paid. Numerous alchemists neglected or intentionally broke this law many times in the past. And in every instance, it invariably led to tragedy. Five thousand years ago, there existed a civilization in the East which flourished through the power of alchemy. The king utilized alchemy to build giant cities, cultivate the land, and protect the citizens from invaders. The people both revered and feared the miracles performed by their king. But then, one day, tragedy befell them. The king committed a forbidden act. And as a consequence, a terrible catastrophe struck the land. The civilization is said to have perished in a single night. mother back to life, the boys made an attempt at the most forbidden act in alchemy. Human transmutation. An act that cost the older brother his left leg and the younger his entire body. On impulse, the older transmuted the younger soul and bound it to a suit of armor, sacrificing his right arm. Edward Elric, the elder brother outfitted with mechanical limbs called Automail. Alphonse Elric. The younger brother whose soul occupies the giant suit of armor. Even now, the brothers are said to be on a continuing journey in search of the legendary Philosopher's Stone. The only item that may help them regain their bodies and bring back everything they lost. Well, if you're not familiar with the original story, there's a little backstory to our main characters, Edward Elric and Alphonse Elric. And this is obviously the Desert City Lior. Now if you're familiar with the original series, this about goes to episode 
15, I think, and then it cuts off to the filler story that this game, like, applies to. So, yeah, that's about it for that. Well, looks like we're finally here, the desert city of Lior. The folks around here seem a little different from the people in other towns. Well, I hear most of the townspeople are followers of the sun god Leto. Sounds like a cult if you ask me. So, about those miracles <clears throat> that are being performed by their prophet. Right. Based on the rumors I've heard, all that stuff is just alchemy. But even then, being able to resurrect the dead seems a little far-fetched. You figure it's got something to do with the Philosopher's Stone? Well, that's what we came all the way here to find out, isn't it? For starters, we should try meeting up with this so-called prophet. Yep. Well, that's a little rundown of what we're about to do. So, uh, now they're gonna explain a little movement and stuff. I might do it all myself. So, with the analog stick, you can move around, obviously. X is to jump. With the uh, square button, you can punch. Continuously press it for combos and shit. And you can even add on with the triangle button for some alchemy type combo. Same with uh, the circle button. Get out of my way, Al. I'm trying to show off the awesome spike. But yeah. Uh, so we're gonna move on, and once we do, there's gonna be a pretty long cutscene. This game is kind of hmm? something wrong. Big for that, to be honest. But the, um, some cutscenes are really good in this game. It has a great story. I love this game. So yeah, let's just keep going. Yeah, it's just my stomach's <clears throat> growling. Let's grab a bite to eat here. Children of God who live upon this land, pray in faith that ye may be saved. Hmm? As sun lights the day, so does Leto illuminate thy path and drown out the shadows of suffering. Is this some kind of religious broadcast? I am the sun god's commissary. God's commissary? If this is supposed to be a comedy show, no one's laughing. Who the heck is that? Why, that's Father Cornello. Who's that? You're kidding me! You've never heard of the great prophet Cornello? Who? He performs miracles. I've never seen anything like it before. It's God's work for sure. I like how in the background the there's a random so, mister, how can I get an audience with this guy? salamander just hanging. Like, are you supposed to eat that? <laughs> He's always in the temple. Just head straight down this street and you're there. Well, thanks, Brock. The temple of the Sun God. Well, no use sitting around with that information. Al, you ready to split? Uh huh. Up and at him. Yep, let's go. Oh shit. Ow, what the hell you do with? Uh-oh. Ah! My my radio! Oh, you can always just buy a new one, I suppose. Oops. Uh, now you've done it, buddy! Now what do you expect wearing a tin suit like that? Hey, hey. He has feelings too. Back off. Don't bust a lung, Grandpa. We can fix it. It's in a thousand pieces! Okay, here goes. Whoa! Hey look, a demonstration of alchemy. Yay! What? <clears throat> Is that good enough for you? Whoa, <clears throat> damn! It's really a land of prophets! Your buddy can work miracles like Cornello! Oh, it's nothing like that. It's science. We're alchemists. We're yeah, because alchemy is Not totally to science. Anything, but we're pretty well known. <clears throat> I like how some guy's stalking Elric, me. Huh? Thanks. Oh, the Elric brothers! Oh, I've heard of you guys before! 
Oh, really? Awesome. The older brother is the state alchemist. Yeah, we just happen to be full awesome. Metal alchemist, Edward Elric. Pretty famous full metal alchemist. Huh? Give me some props. So you're the master alchemist, and now I get why you're called full metal. It's because of this suit of armor. Wait, wait, what? Um, it's not me, it's him. You mean that shorty? <laughs> You mean that little shorty? Oh god. Who do you call a bean sprout midget? I once said that. I'm Alphonse Elric, <clears throat> the younger brother. And I am the full metal alchemist, Edward Elric. Uh, so sorry. And then he sounds unamused. Good run. Come on now. Let's get out to the temple. Yeah. Sorry for the ruckus. Bye. 